Today on Gadget Class, I'm going to show you how to migrate or clone your existing system onto your brand new SSD or solid state drive. In this video, I am going to be using the Acronis True Image HD that comes with the uh, MX200 drive. So this video will be specific to the Acronis True Image HD application. If you want to use a different program, such as Macrium Reflect, which is also another really great and free way to do it, check the links down in the description below. Um, I've got a video showing how to do it step by step with that method as well. But this is going to be for the people that got Acronis True Image HD with their drive and they want to do it that way. So let's get started. What are we going to need? First, you're going to need your brand new solid state drive. Then you're going to need some sort of USB to SATA adapter. Um, if you're doing it on a, on a desktop, you can go ahead and just plug that in and plug, a, plug it into the SATA port. But for all of you guys that are on laptops, you're going to need some sort of USB to SATA adapter. And I'm just using the back plane of a hard drive enclosure. You can get these real cheap. In fact, I'll put links down in the description to uh, probably the best one you can get with uh, USB 3 and um, all the goodies. Uh, you can get some really good ones these days. But this is just uh, one I had lying around and uh, it works just fine. So, that's all you need. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Now, the first time you plug in a brand new hard drive, you're going to have to initialize it. It needs to be initialized and set up for first usage. And if your computer doesn't automatically come up and ask you whether you want to format it as a MBR or GPT, what you're going to do is come over here, right click on your start button and go to disk management. And then it's going to pop up and it's say, Disk 2, do you want to initialize this as an MBR or Master Boot Record Disk or a GPT or GUID partition table? Now, this is, a, this is an important step here. If you're going to be booting off of it and using it as a primary system drive, you want to make it an MBR disk. GPT does have a lot of benefits over MBR, um, but a lot of uh, BIOSes and systems um, need to have their primary partition or their primary system partition be an MBR disk. So we're going to go ahead and uh, initialize it as an MBR disk. So now we have one big giant disk and it is showing unallocated. Let's go ahead and uh, create new simple volume. Just going to do all the defaults here, let it assign its own drive letter, and let's uh, get rid of the name there. It's going to ask if we want to format it. And it I don't know why it was asking, but it is formatted now, and it's all set up to go. All right, that's all you need to do. So let's go in here, and we're going to go to acronis.com slash en dash us slash promo dash tihd dash download slash, okay? That's the same, same thing that it shows you here on the back of your promo card there. And on this page, you're going to click on the United States of America or whatever country you're in. They got a, quite a few here. That is going to start the download. So let's go ahead and save it on our desktop. Save. Let that download. That is pretty big. 263 megabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it while that's downloading. And in the meantime, be sure to check out uh, links down in the description below. Uh, all right, our download completed. Let's go ahead and install Acronis True Image. Let's not participate in that. Did you get that? 
Most people are just going to click here by default because they think it's a license agreement. No, that's a, a participation agreement. <laughs> Do not check to participate in this program unless you want to send data to Acronis. Proceed. We're getting pretty tricky. Let's pause that again. There we go. Start application. And here it's asking for our 64-bit character key. Actually, we're going to click, uh, I only have the short key. They're actually wanting a 64-bit character key. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it while I get past this registration step. Alright, when you open up a Chronos True Image, it's going to start with this Getting Started tab. Go ahead and click on Tools and Utilities. Click on Clone Disk. It's going to analyze uh, all your disks and partitions. And you've got two options here, Automatic and Manual. For most situations, automatic should work. Um, it'll even work if you're resizing from, say, a one terabyte hard drive down to a 500 gigabyte SSD. Um, in this case, I'm going from one 500 gigabyte SSD to another, so um, automatic will definitely work. But you can select manual if you want to uh, play around with the partitions. The main reason I su suggest automatic is, it, is it's automatically going to put the part partitions in the right place for you. When you're dealing with uh, factory recovery partitions, they need to be in exactly the same place in exactly the same order with the exact same size and name. Otherwise, you lose your ability to boot off your recovery partition. So I would recommend automatic under most situations. So in this situation, I'm going to go from my Samsung. That is the hard disk we want to copy from. And the target disk is going to be our new uh, Crucial 465.8 gigabyte mass storage device. Click Next. Yes. So it's basically showing us that now we're going to have these two uh, recovery partitions or the system recovery partition, the main uh, primary partition, and then another recovery partition. That's exactly what you want to happen. When you go to manual mode, it's going to let you do that stuff manually, but you need to make sure that these partitions end up in exactly the same order with exactly the same name. Um, it's very important to maintain your recovery ability. Let's go ahead and click on proceed. And that's it. Um, it's going to go ahead and clone that disk. Uh, I won't let you uh, sit there and watch the whole thing, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it and come back when it's done. Okay, it's asking for a restart now. Let's go ahead and restart. Alright, it just finished and it restarted without my consent, so we're restarting right now. It actually took a lot longer than it did with uh, Macrium Reflect. I'm not sure I'm I'm overly happy with uh, with uh, True Image, but it looks like it certainly did the job. So now we should have two drives that are exactly the same. And we do. We have an OSC drive, which is our primary drive that we copied. And we have an OSE drive. And if we right click on the start menu and go to disk management, you can see that our primary disk 0 has uh, four partitions, and then our uh, disk 2 has the same four partitions. And now we have a perfectly cloned drive. We can go ahead and switch that drive out and boot off of it. Um, do whatever we want with it now. That would make a, a great backup for your computer. If you're uh, moving from like a, an old 5400 RPM drive 
over to a new SSD, you could just uh, throw that uh, old hard drive into a protective uh, anti-static mylar sleeve and store that for safekeeping. Um, or you could format it and uh, put it in an external enclosure and have a backup drive. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more great videos.